Hi, in today's demo, we're going to show you how to connect Google Forms with Square Payments to make an easy to use registration form, sign up form, payment form, anything you could imagine in only about five minutes. It's quick and easy. So let's get started. If you've never used Google Forms before, super easy to do and get started. All you got to do is head to forms.google.com and sign up and create a form. I've started with a basic one here, and if you're new to Google Forms, watch another video on it. We're not going to get into all the details of all the different options, but it's very user-friendly and easy. So what I got here is a form that I've set up for my fake Square Sports Summer Camp. And I've made a couple options here. I made a multiple choice question. Uh, right now my form is in edit mode, so it's in the mode that I would see it as a business owner or organizer. And so I've kind of set this up with a five day camp, a 10 day camp with different prices. And you can add as many questions as you want, which is amazing, you know, about Google Forms. So whatever you need as info for your business or your thing, say we needed to know a short answer question, you know, do you have any food allergies? We could just add that in um, and people can answer those questions. If I could spell allergies, which I apparently cannot, allergies, there we go. Um, and uh, you can do optional add-ons. So I added these add-ons here as checkboxes so people could choose them, uh, any, whereas the other ones are multiple choice. So uh, you just use your form and to make a form just like you usually would, which is awesome. The next step is you are going to need the Google Forms, uh, Google Payable Forms add-on. Uh, and so if you search for that, just Google it, top result should be us. And this is the Google Workspace Marketplace. And if you get to the Google Workspace Marketplace, you're going to want to install the Payable Forms add-on. And so this is an add-on that we developed specifically for Google Forms to help make your form payable. So awesome. So you're going to click install on that as a first step. And when you come back um, to your form, if you refresh the page, you should see at the top this little puzzle piece. And this is your add-on menu, and it will keep track of any add-ons that you have that are eligible to work with various uh, Google applications like Google Forms. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to hit Payable Forms. And then I'm going to hit Make This Form Payable. What this is going to do is this is going to load up our Payable Forms sidebar. And we have three main steps to get up and running. The first one you would select is Auto Configure Form and Sheet. And this does three things. This uh, makes email address required as part of the submission so we can email your users the link uh, if they don't use it. Uh, we set the confirmation page with a checkout and we set the destination uh, where the results go to a Google Sheet, which will make your life a lot easier later. We'll talk about that. The other button I hit is sync theme. So this is going to set my soccer ball and my colors and it's going to send it to payable so that my checkout looks like a Google form. Uh, so it's seamless for our customers. And the last thing we're going to do is connect a payment provider. So today we're talking about Square. Square is awesome, really easy to use, and a lot of people already have it. And they just want their payments to go from a Google form into their Square account. And so today we're going to click Square. Um, what you would do here is you click connect and you go through the connect flow. So this is going to grant our permission, uh, our app permission. If you haven't been through the flow already, mine I, it kind of skipped me right to the end uh, because I've already granted our app permission. It would show you the permissions that we are asking for. And that has a range of abilities so we can create payments on your behalf, create customers on your behalf. We're also going to do subscriptions in the future. So there's a lot of uh, permissions there that we need to be able to do this for you. So we ask for those and then you hit close. This will return you to um, our page and it will check and look for new connections. And if everything worked, you should see a connected account right here. So it says now it says square connected which is perfect. I can close this window. And you can see down here it says connected square account. Uh, so that is all done. Now all I have to do is flip this main toggle to make the form payable. What's happening here is below we're registering with Google triggers and we're telling Google to let us know anytime somebody submits this form. And we will look at all of the answers that your customer chose. And if any of them contain money amounts, we will set up a checkout with a, a square powered uh, credit card field on it uh, to collect that money as a next step. So that is now done. 
Okay, so as easy as that, three quick steps, maybe two minutes, we've now connected Square to Google Forms. So what does this look like for our customers? What does the flow look like? And so we leave it down here um, in testing mode. We leave this mode on for practice so you can give it a try. Uh, and see what it would look like. To see what a form would look like for your customers, you can either click the eyeball, which is the preview button, and this will open it in a new tab. Um, or when you're ready to send it out, you would hit send, and then switch to link, and then copy and paste this link. You could even shorten it so it's uh, nice for your users, and you'd say, hey, go here to sign up for my summer camp, and you would send out that link. So let's look at what the form looks like for a customer. All right, so I'm gonna pick the five-day camp, and I am 36 to 55. Uh, let's say, do I have any food allergies? No, nope, none. And I am gonna take the camp t-shirt. And so as easy as that, you can now hit submit. And this is the Google confirmation page where we've added a transition link to our checkout. So the user would go across and we collect, again, we analyze the response and we look for money amounts going on inside of that submission. And if all goes well, you should be redirected perfectly to a checkout page. And so this is the checkout page that has my five day summer camp on it, a camp t-shirt. Those are the options I chose inside of the Google form. And then I also have a checkout card input. And this input is powered by Square. So that Square account I connected is gonna be the one that gets the money from here. So. This is all done with um, Square's JavaScript SDK, so no card data is ever uh, going into Google or is it even touching our servers. It's all encrypted right in the browser. Very safe, uh, smart way to do it. And this is our checkout page, which is powered by Payable, that is matching the look and feel of your form. So this here is the checkout page. When it's in test mode, we give you some test cards to use so you can practice uh, going through the flow. So let's copy this visa number and we will paste it inside of here. 1221-123-90210 and hit pay. So this will validate the payment card, uh, process the card with Square and return you to your confirmation page as a user, which gives you your uh, Square transaction ID is listed here as the payment ID. Uh, and it gives you a little bit of the card information and that it was paid, but this was a test transaction. So as easy as that, you now are able to make a Google form payable with Square using your Square account. Let's go back to the Google form for a second. So the other thing that's really cool about this is when we go into our responses, sometimes refresh the page uh, because the Google sheet might not come across right away if you don't refresh the uh, page with Google. And if you click this button, this would say view responses in sheet. And so all of the submissions, when people are submitting your form, they go into this Google sheet here. And so here are all the questions that I set up in my Google form. And then here are the columns that we as payable add. So we generate an order ID for you, a unique four digit order ID. We calculate the total, we keep track of the status, and then we tell you how it was processed. So it was processed by Square and it was a card and uh, this is the information about it. And this is your Square transaction ID. So if you ever wanted to do a refund or look it up or find anything, um, all of the information is linked to that Square transaction ID right there. And so this makes it really easy to keep track of people who have signed up for something, who's paid, who hasn't paid, who you need to remind, and it just makes your life really quite easy. Um, if you click on the order ID, it'll just take you to that, that receipt uh, if it has been paid. And if it hasn't been paid, uh, it would show you the checkout page uh, so somebody could submit payment. But that is it. Um, as easy as that in about five minutes to set up a very professional uh, order form powered by Square and Google Forms. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below. Um, and we'll add a link to our add-on and all the various things, and even a link to this testing form in the uh, description to this video. So you could try it out yourself if you wanna go through it. Uh, thanks again, and uh, keep on building stuff.